What a massive response from NRG. That was a statement win against Paper Rex on Lotus. I'm your host, Yingsu, and I'm joined by Mel and Kakuka once again. And we knew this series is going to be a banger, Kakuka. Yeah. I was not going to be okay with this not going to a map three. I mean, honestly, I thought that NRG needed this to be a 2-0. Like, they needed a decisive win to keep making this uh, lower bracket run. But hey, this is going the distance. More reps for them, more things that they have to show us um, uh, during the tournament. Yeah, and Mel, finesse. I mean, after the first map, having such a dominant attack side, and on top of it, just being on top of having insane reads, but also Finesse taking over, going like 16 and 6 at halftime, it's got to feel so good. Actually, I know, it feels amazing when <laughs> your team trusts you and you can do that, and you come out on top. Yeah, exactly. We were talking about that, and maybe Chet said that they had something prepared. I think that more so than just changing the agent, I think that they knew exactly how Paper X interpreted and what the micros are uh, that they were going to see in the map. And time and time again, we were seeing NR one step ahead of them. I think that that first half just summed it all with the timings that they were taking, with the pressure that they were putting on, on certain points of the map. I think that um, it was just meant to be. Yeah, and also we always talk about his IGLing, his leadership, but these numbers, Mel, they speak for themselves. They don't uh, lie. <laughs> I say lead by example. Yeah. And he's out here like, I swear it was 16 and 6 at half, and he's just dominating the server. It's like, how can you not trust someone that's your IGL who is performing like that, lurking and for you, having insane reads, and then also closing out the map on defense. And also, now that we're heading into this map number three, you need that leadership. You need that figure that is going to take you this step further than you need to close it and continue in the competition. Yeah, and the craziest thing is, uh, Paper X, they didn't win many rounds, and one of the rounds they did win was an ace, an Odin <laughs> ace. Uh, in fact, and this was from Forsaken Kakuka. This was kind of crazy. I think that this is dedicated to Mitch, uh, to wherever he is, because he is an Odin and Jory, especially on this map. Uh, the, the way that he's just getting the cleans flawlessly, I think that everybody has been on the on the other side, but someone getting an ace with an Odin. I can't, I'm sorry, I was just cackling at the, the sound of the Prime Odin. I haven't heard a Prime Odin in so long. Really? It just oh. sounded funny, sorry. I love this skin, I love this skin. Uh, but speaking of Forsaken and Paper X, there were a lot of doubts about this team coming into this uh, tournament, given that they had to play with a sub on their roster. But we spoke to Forsaken, this is what he had to say about their run. I feel really great, of course, because we can win and we can continue to the next step. Yeah, I'm really, really feel great today. To be honest, I don't really expect that we can go this far with with the substitute CGRS, but I guess I just have to like believe in our team, right? Overall, I think he's really, really great player. His aim really crispy, and we glad that he is our substitute. In we have the mindset where the score is always gonna be 0-0 even though we already like beaten up for like 11-4 or something. We always mentally reset and we don't think about score that much. And we just like play as usual, like how we play on practice. We're towards tree. Yep. They're not worried, are they? They're going up against the half bike. Start yeah, no way! Oh. Take your movement is just impeccable! I think Energy playstyle is really different from the Pacific, definitely, because we come from another region. But I would say we, I think we're more happier to meet another region rather than our own region because the playstyle made like readable from our region. I'm really like excited to meet against Energy. I hope we can have a great show match later, and I hope that you guys don't 2 0 us. I mean, I think he's right, the way the, the attitude they're having as well coming to this tournament. But Mel, uh, mentally in their position right now, having one map one, map two, a bit of a stomp. Uh, what do they need to do for Paper X, do you think? I think they keep playing. They get back to that mentality they had on the first map, where it was really just them capitalizing off of Energy's mistakes, because they aren't perfect. There are opportunities here. And I think that if they get back to that mindset of the first map, I think they can come through. And I think another thing, too, is I think we've heard EG say this as well, the power of having no expectations. Yes. Yeah. That is an insane buff. I think that that is the most important for me. Like, probably when they saw this Pearl, they were like, OK, we're going to run this. This is the slight adjustment that we're going to, to, to make. And we're running with it. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, we'll just go and see what happens in map two. And it was actually that kind of 
fake confidence that, that made him win the map. So on bind now, they're going to need a little bit of that because um, we're going to see two teams that interpret the map in a very similar way, but we're going to be seeing CGRS going back on that Gecko and in a, com a, a comfortable position. Again, I think that NRG had a very good read into the intentions that Paper Rex had on that previous map. Even though Paper Rex keep in this, it keeps being in this mindset that they're unpredictable, I think that so many things were unpredictable just because they're not at their full strength. Uh, so if, if we continue on that on that same length, energy should take the map. I wonder if they uh, switch anything else up on buying because Mel, yeah. you were looking forward to this map a lot. And I'm going to say some real copium stuff that both teams, they lost to Fnatic, but Paper Rex had more <laughs> rounds. They got more rounds. They got three more rounds than NRG did. So Wow, so we're going for the <laughs> around differential cope. That's what yeah, we're reaching yeah, for. Yeah. OK, I mean, I, I want to throw it back to the one ideal versus five because I truly think that last map was a masterclass by Finesse. And you, now you give him bind, yeah. a map that he has said repeatedly how comfortable he is on that map and how much outplay of potential we see. I'm really excited to see that. But also, not to put too much pressure on CGRS, but I'm kind of I'm, I'm looking at <gasps> him to go crazy here. Well, this is, a, this is a really fun <laughs> prime gaming Wait. agent select, what you guys. I was going to say, Chamber. I still have Chamber. nightmares with that round Chamber. 16 that Artis had where the slow bounces back off the, the wall and how Artis was not performing on the stage and now he goes and picks Chamber. Do they miss Ye this much, <laughs> Mel, do you think? No comment. <laughs> uh, but yeah, what do you make of these changes? This is, uh, this is cool, I like it. Wow, I think they're like matching fire with fire. Like this is something that Paper Rex would do, and I'm honestly all here for it. Listen, if Artis feels like he's not going to have impact on the stage, if he's not going to have that slow wind power, if he's not going to have impact on the attack either, hey, a chamber is always going to have it. It's like picking arena. You know, Paper Rex should know a lot about that. I never thought that NRG <laughs> will be the ones giving us this many surprises in the agent select, but I am all here for it. But this is it. Achilles and Paper's in the final map between these two and the winner will be making it to the top three. The loser, unfortunately, will be eliminated. Absolutely right. This is for all the marbles. Nothing can be left out here. You have to throw everything on the table now if you're either of these teams. And NRG, they are showing us everything. They're going back to chambers, something that we have not seen from artists in so damn long. Yeah, but remember, he used to absolutely pound on that agent. I mean, he is a chamber specialist and absolutely disgusting on it. Will Paper Rex be able to handle it? Will be, they be able to recover? Pretty curious to see how he's going to pilot this. You know, with the harbor in there uh, from Paper Rex, you expect that. I imagine that that sometimes can make things a little bit tricky uh, for a chamber player to maybe find as much value as you want. But with those trademarks, with their extended range, you know, who knows? Maybe maybe they can get some, some tricky plays here, so catch Paper Rex a little bit off guard with some of this. It's going to be Paper Rex on the defender side, looking to maybe push out A. In we go. They're looking to pressure him out. It's going to be the Ghost in Hamaging at range with a frenzy. We'll be able to take him down. Heels coming across. The rest of the team widely getting ready to push in towards B. Forsaken setting up a wall, trying to make this a little bit more unassailable, but he's going to look to push ahead and get through that one. Pressure on the elbow. Forsaken planted. backing off. Crashing wave going forward, suspecting that they were going to be looking to flush him out of there. Team now arrives. JRS going to be the last one on this rotation over. They'd get set for a second. Tag down quite very low. Still get the thing on the crashies. Setting up for a potentially easier kills. Mind Freak will find Finesse. Pushing forward towards the defending side. Crashies comes up, finds one. Jing from behind will get that kill. Victor will be good for another one. But hey, look, they can actually do it. Paper X take their first pistol round here at the start of map number three. And better late than ever here. As they do a good job finding that opening kill onto Artis. Will caught a little bit off guard there is NRG. And then on the retake, some good flashes, some good damage done to get themselves in there and find that oh so important pistol round. And even, even though they lost both on Pearl, they're able to come through and still get it. So Devai gonna go with the Marshal. And seeing a little bit of more sniper rifles from him, Forsaken with the Judge. Oh, Looks oops. like he's gonna be posted up in U-Haul. Swapping it over, goes for the Spectre at least for now. And oh. looks like that is gonna be the commit at the end. All right, fine. I was hoping for it. Oh, Marshall from Defy completely whips, splits the difference between two players, crashes. Also put the chest shot to go ahead and get the finishing blow. Flash now at the ready. CGRS trying to go for a little bit of timing there, but eats the full blind. There's the back off. 
Things coming down, and from here, I mean, NRG, they can play this just about however they want. Oh, just like that. Actually, Som just taking the fight and taking CGRS's head off. This is already pretty catastrophic. Rotation starting to come through. It's going to be Mind Freak left alone on, over on that A site, and should NRG decide to pivot through the teleporter, it's going to be a bit of a long run as Jing is going to be noted, and Som. Oh, he's so distracted. Som just gets another one. Two kills now with a Marshall. The plant getting ready to come in. Forsaken wanting to push, but his own wall kind of working against him in that regard. Mind Freak around the back will gain control of Hookah, finding a single kill. Still four more to be dealt with, however. <laughs> Taking their time. Jeez. Got the smoke. Oh, Som sending one. The crash cheese is around the back. And it is going to be an eco win. Taking the weapons right out of Paper X's hands. I mean, you have that good feeling of, hey, we got our first pistol win. And then right away, NRG just snatches it away from you. And Dubai playing so wide out here and not able to hit the shot. And of course, you know that Headhunter is going to be following now. Got to be aware. Gonna be a lot of long range firepower on this round, potentially, for the side of NRG. And then they grab that Marshall, put it to great use. Jing tries to peek there off the back of some utility and gets punished for it. So some isolated plays here from Paper Rex cost them. Forsaken going to go ahead, snatch up an orb, get some showers control, get closer to that rendezvous. A stinger for Devi, a couple shorties in the back pocket. Already Crashy's with the Seekers. Need some bailout. Look at how look at how cautious NRG is playing this round. We are so worried that Paper X is going to throw some curveballs at you. They're going to try to get aggressive early in the round. Now Mark's they're backing away. Yeah. Takes a little bite there from the Trailblazer. Jing in the meantime, just hovering below Hookah, waiting for somebody to come leaping out of that one. Has that shorty in hand, but Sid might want to pivot around to the front and try to use this poison orb and smokes against them. As they push into him, it's still going to be quite challenging. There's a flash. Oh. Now goes satcheling forward. Finesse eventually able to go ahead and track him down. Gets a headshot. Does get chipped away. Yeah, down to 42 HP. As the nade goes out, blind comes across from CTRS and Mind Freak. Both going to be dealt with. The Vi able to find one. Goes into the smoke. Victor eventually flushes him out. Now it's all on Forsaken. Up over the top of the box goes Victor. Finds the kill as energy will move up 2 to 1. The Ching just never ceases to surprise me. Just decides to try to go in there with the shorty. Double blast back in. See if he can just find a one and done. One enemy remaining. Not going to be the case. Good, good reactions again from NRG. A great blast back to get up on top of that box. Finish the job from Victor. It's great the other day on this raise. Crash, he's already 5-1. and one. Having a phenomenal start here. Over to that... Spectre now though, three rifles, or two rifles, two Bulldogs for the side of NRG. CGRS just rushing out. We'll be able to recover this Dizzy. Flushes them over towards Forsaken for now, but he's all on his lonesome here on this A site. This is just kind of a little bit interesting from Paper Rex, like this, this full flood out of B site and leaving Forsaken on his own. Like, if NRG just pulls the trigger there, he can just overwhelm him, but he's yep. able to escape. Now they have to give up Lamp's control as well, so Victor can play in a forward position. Getting him out of here. It proved to be difficult. Granted, the paint shells are available from Jing, and it looks like after they're satisfied with the rotates, NRG make the call. Finesse again, looking for a bit of a master class like we That's saw from funny. them versus Liquid just yesterday on Split. All coming up. Spike plant on the opposite side of it, though, and Hart is still hovering here. Bye. Gets the headshot. CGRS going to be taken down as Crashy stays tucked away in the back of sight. Takes advantage of the vulnerable out on a Jink. Forsaken, however, finds two quick kills. Finds himself a third. Now the Reckoning available, and he's going to invest that immediately. A little bit of obfuscation, but there is going to be the ultimate. Orbital strike sent down. Forsaken trying to challenge. Finds the fourth kill. Now on for the ace. This artist left standing and Forsaken. In round three on map number two, now in round four here on Bind, he gets himself a second ace in the series. How does he keep doing it? He's just unbelievable. And, and energy, I thought, had this round in the bag. They leave Artis behind. 
CGRS was over at the B-side teleporter. As soon as NRG went through the A teleporter, he went through the other side, but it's accounted for. And Artis is just waiting for it. And then they've got the site, they've got the plant down and it looks golden. But no, Forsaken once again with the hero play for Paper Rex. Just unreal, some of the rounds he's been able to string together here today. And that is a lifeline for Paper Rex. Let's see if they can capitalize on this. Going to be getting the showstopper available for Jing. And immediately just peeling back, taking showers control on the other side of the map. So right now, Paper X, full map control, doing a great job here. Keeping NRG pinned in and just rotating Jing over towards lamps. They're tying it up, but they still a hell of a lot of work here for Paper X if they want to find a foothold. They need a clean round, because even then, NRG still have cash to try to work through. Mind Freak thinking about going for this swing. Or just gonna get the adjustment. Oh, it's an instant snap. Wow. What a shutdown. And the quick TP at the ready just in case there was a follow up as well. And that is what Artis can deliver when he's on this chamber. Something that we haven't seen in quite some time, but frankly, one that people should be quite happy to see just given the way, the level that he can play with this pick. Flashes out. And that's just tucked into the corner. This teleporter's still here as Artis goes on a bit of a scouting mission. Forsaken now at risk of being caught. 30 seconds left. Yeah, I don't think Forsaken has any idea. He's starting oh, to stare he just over. Turned. He's worried about it. Obviously, he knew that Artis was there before. Does he know it now? No. Artis finds the perfect timing to strike right as the rotation was starting to come through. And speaking of rotations, energy at it once again. Maximum use of these teleporters and finesse ready for CTRS as the door opens up. Allowing them to tie, but not allowing them to gain the lead. NRG putting their foot down as Jing has to drift away from the A site. They will go ahead and overtake them once more. Yeah, just great stuff here from Artis. The patience there at Showers, kind of just knowing that Paper X gets itchy and they want to come out, try to take some space off of all that time at the beginning of the round that they were given. And it's a good kind of exchange of utility over at Octagon where they wanted to use that Dizzy to get up and over towards the B teleporter and then follow it up again, kind of trying to combo with Devi here, RC, GRS, and him. And it worked yesterday, today. NRG is very prepared for it. They use a snake bite and a flash of their own to make sure that Paper Rex can't find any damage off of that combo. So they're really prepared for that. That's something that I'm definitely noticing that NRG really read into is this combo of Dubai and CGRS. Just knowing that, yeah, okay, you, you teleported last round, we know, we're aware. So now you gotta try to come up with some different looks here for Paper Rex. Be a little bit more sturdy, a little bit more stable. Don't give up those free picks to artists. That's absolutely a must not, as he's only now one away from the Tour de Force and as Dubai just spins around the screen. <laughs> the pinwheel of Dubai. There is Sink. I hope that that's not him getting flushed down the drain. Oof. And it's been a little bit rocky so far Bro. here, but an opportunity <laughs> to try to find some stability. Only a couple rifles, one of them in Jing's hand on the other side of Hookah there. Finesse now, gonna line up the smoke for in front of U-Haul. Okay. Vought to check close. Artis clearing that, backing away. As the wall comes up, Forsaken and Mind Freak here on the site. Pop flash in towards Lamps. Finesse creeps forward. Forsaken very wisely is going to be wary of this. Just keeping it noted. Poison Orb going to get picked up so we can go ahead and try to reposition that one. TP over. Dubai joins in on this side of the map, sends out the Seekers. Bite. Just about it for Sacred Speed, but it's not quite close enough. Devai wins out the fight, takes down Victor. Spike now gets planted. The rush for the classic. At least forces him off of it, but Samsung still wins the fight. The kill not going to be found. Man advantage here. Very much so now for the side of NRG as Devai does get domed. Thrash going to be committed and everything, and now it's just going to be the full shift. Nearby, though, is Jing. Showstopper at the ready. Looking to catch one. Does find him. Spike now going to be dropped down onto the ground. Showstopper. And he's saying, you've got no time to work with. Sends out the showstopper. Crashy is going to be dead. Cleans up finesse. Oh, oh, victory is in the hands of Jing. 
a 4K to tie it up at three to three. It's just heroics for Paper Rex keeping him in this. And again, good things on both sides in the beginning of this round. I love the way that Devai uses the Seekers out of the teleporter to identify and isolate a pick. Out of charges. Out of showers. Remaining. He gets a huge kill. Mind Freak's hiding from the, the flashes, keeping himself obscured. But then Energy has a great response, getting some big kills of their own. And then a beautiful teleport. That should be round, you would think, if they can just deal with Jing. But he gets there just in time and plays it to perfection. Well, for the first time in a very long time, we're going to be seeing that Tour de Force come through from Artis. See what he can get done. For now, just sat outside the teleporter on the ace of the map. Staring to see if there's going to be any showers presence, but once again, it's just this forsaken Mind Freak duo widely paying attention over here towards Short. Dizzy up over the top, not going to spot anything. Free pickup for CGRS. There's a monstrous amount of ults available for the side of NRG. Yeah, and this time they're playing a little bit further forward with Devai off the back of that Dizzy to see if they could get somebody to bite. Finesse wisely sitting back. Artist with that tour de force. Ooh. Devai noted. Okay, Trailblazer will reveal just how close they are. The bite looking to force them back. Gets to read that Devai has swung out on the side. Has to pull away though. Molly at his feet. It's Jing thinking about pushing out. Gets the instant headshot, Victor. Dealt with. Does he find more? He's looking for it. The swing. Song. Answers right back to keep it evened up at four to four. Now you got to keep yourself away from this I've tour de force. Mind Freak okay. sitting on his alt as well and just going to buy some time here off the back of these seekers, knowing that they wanted to push. Gonna cut them off. Oh, Artist finding one. Spike, however, still down. Artist has to double back to try to grab it. I don't think they're going to have the time. He makes his way into the cove. Gets taken out, and Forsaken is good for another three! As Paper X will take the lead. The delay here, the reaction from Mind Freak is so good, and then to just expect with the time that they have to come through, they have to push in, and he just comes in there. Yeah, he's traded, and then Forsaken using that cove so well. Not only does it just get the delay, it destroys the two Seekers that yes. were making their way out, so identifying the exact position of these Paper X players on the side itself becomes that much more difficult and forsaken. Rightfully so on his feet with another monstrous round for himself. Will help force out this timeout that Energy wants to take. It's unsurprising. Comes Chet not wanting Paper Rex to be able to really stretch this lead. Says, okay, they're one round up over us. Let's go ahead, pump the brakes, tie it up, and take it from there. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's just, it's been good stuff here. I mean, a couple of these rounds, sure, are in the backs of Unbelievably stellar plays from the superstars of Paper Rex, Jing and Forsaken. But that's that's Paper Rex. That is what they do all the time. You have to expect it that they're gonna have those rounds. You have to just roll with the punches, and energy certainly can do that. Now you've got that pit for finesse. Try to find a way to use it. But again, another good thing there for Paper X is they avoid any damage from that tour de force, a big time ultimate doesn't find much value. And just the one kill. Yeah. That's what they pick up. The pit still available. Som with an orbital of his own. One orb away. Victor, the showstopper. It was going to be paramount in energy in this round. We'll see what Chet has prepped them for. As for now, maybe the double peak. But they're getting a read on this. They're this? just sending the reckoning. But Dubai. A dazed up, showstopper to try to chase them down. Forsaken will be able to find artists. The spot in the double kill, just hogging each other into oblivion. Victor breaking open the round, and Paper Rex wanted to push the pace, but this completely falls flat. Spike planted. And as I call it, the Mobius strip of Paper Rex, <laughs> the, the, the wild plays, the up and down swings of this team. It is, it is a constant finesse. Takes a chunk of damage. He's got the bite, the delay. Mind Freak needs to be the one that's really start finding something, but Crashy's up on the box. It's completely unexpected for him. And he will fall. Forsaken now just going to see if he can get anything. Try to build up for that next reckoning, given the wasted commitment here in the round. Completely avoided and piloted well from the side of NRG. I've never seen anything quite like that. 
and just that reckoning off the rip again, like the, like you said, to try to deal with that showstopper. I mean, they're trying to get a, a clutch yes, exactly. outside of Hookah. Right. But the reckoning only goes so far, and yes. I think it just plays right on the edge of it. And then from here, it's just sadness. Well, I think you're hoping that you can win that initial trade off of kind of the early chaos there. Maybe catch them as they're coming out of market. Just NRG isn't you know, bamboozled at all. They're really steady. It's one of those things where if it worked, we say, oh my god, yes. what a brilliant play. Exactly. But because it doesn't, it looks a bit foolish. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see if they ever go for it again here in this map. But for now, tied up once more. Feeling a lot more like Pearl, where the teams were widely inseparable, just constantly pinging back and forth between the, one another. And they're completely seeding Puka control here. And NRG is starting to work their way in. Gonna use that Trailblazer to push some space. Dimash to try to keep him safe. The High Tide coming up as well. Flash to confirm the presence. But with that High Tide, he's giving Paper Rex a little bit of time to shift Jing over here. Flash in the garden, not seeing too much there. Divine trying to counter spray through. And tagged up Finesse initially, but then does get worked lower and lower, down to 56 health for himself. And immediately I start thinking, well, they might just TP here with all that presence. You know there's at least three over here with the boom bot, with the trailblazer, and with the mosh pit. Time on their side, it's just going to be the sound cut. Are drifting over. Forsaken is playing up close, but looks like he's going to back away. He's playing around a tiny little gap that he had in that cascade. Looking for one. Oh, gets him. Confirms the spike presence as well. At least for a little bit more. Can't quite adjust for some. It's a little bit of damage down, but doesn't get the kill. HP bars, however, still quite low. Nade out. Som has to drop down off the box. The jump forward, Victor into the corner, wins it out versus the Vive. Mind Freak finally able to stabilize the aim, falls up for a second one. Artist swinging out, Mind Freak finds the third. Ten seconds left. CGRS looking to push. Knows that he's around the corner, will be able to get finesse, and Paper X take that lead right back into their own hands. I mean, just Forsaken, just the absolute confidence he has to step up into this is absolutely nuts, and then Mind Freak holding it down. Great transfer, great hold. Just using that smoke to allow Forsaken to find the first. The cove comes up behind it. People step back and try to go for another. Yeah, it doesn't work for Forsaken, but it harasses NRG. And then CGR is able to win on the backside. That lurk accounted for by Finesse, but not able to be dealt with. Ooh. Smoke down. Artist just trying to spray through. Not much damage found by either side. In the meantime. Push up for second. Caught unawares. They're going to be as far forward. Now they have to go for this full rotate. Do they play Ring Around the Rosie once again? Off for the teleporters. The site is empty. Looks like they're going to commit to the plant here. Also invest the pit. Gold's at the ready. The nade not quite getting the bounce that it's looking for to get in onto the plant spot. But CGRS finding one. As Victor gets himself situated up on top here of the two. Finesse down low. A single bullet would finish him off and drop that pit. They're going to be able to find it for now. The wingman coming out with the molly. Oh, it's perfectly oh, timed. Oh, oh, oh. They can't get it to half. Time dwindling down. Finesse, however, needs to try to hightail it out, but he's going to get clipped up. Orbital strike finishes them off, and a double orbital strike from Psalm. Answers back, and now it's all on Mind Freak. Once more, the headshot. No. Noting his position, but he's running out of time. Psalm continuing the jiggle. Mind Freak having to push it. Five bullets. The time taken out, a 4K from Mind Freak with a round victory goes to NRG. And we are tied up at five to five. Oh, that round is played so beautifully by Sam. The reaction to that wingman, instantly the molly is out to make sure that it's not a problem. And yeah, sure, okay, Mind Freak's got his ult, well, so do I. And I can just shut this down. The layers here, able to survive behind those smokes in the garden. And yeah, Mind Freak, Coming up big with some kills, but the time dwindled. Not able to get it done. That mind Freak very much coming alive. Not that he was asleep in the first two maps, but didn't see as much impact. You know, as crazy a plays that we know that he can pull off. He's starting to see it, but it's just not good enough to get them across the finish line there. So five and five inseparable could very well end up being a six and six half. Just maintain that ambiguity as far as who the hell is going to win this map. 
Your guess is as good as mine at this point. Could have convinced me either way. CGRS is so far forward here towards market. He needs to play up close. He's got that stinger in hand. No one else is splitting with Artis. So there's not going to be an immediate reaction, but it looks like he is going to be suspecting this, but he's not prepared to win out of the fight. Divai as well, finding some. CGRS is going to be taken out, though. They managed to trade this one back. A 3v3, the Seekers sent out by Crash. He's just trying to spot them out. The rotation is still going to be coming through. His Forsaken and Mind Freak look to reinforce this beast side. Jink into the corner, tagged low, jumps away. Finesse exits out of Hookover. Forsaken arrives just in time to get the covering fire. Shows up and trying to clear close. Victor going to be good for one. Forsaken strikes him down, and suddenly, Crashies versus Forsaken. 57 health remaining. Forsaken is playing this one out slowly. Crashies trying to hold the ankle, and Forsaken swings right into him. Just a lack of patience. Not opting to wait for the tap on the spike. He goes for the challenge and pays the iron price. Energy, they lock in six for the half. This is a wild round here. It's kind of individual pushes around the edges of the B site. Net a kill apiece. Thank God for Crashies here. Great job holding that down for the side of NRG. Clutch as always for the yes! NA squad. And this is just yeah. wild and all over the place. I don't know how Jin got that one kill. He just is magic sometimes. Now, Divai, you got the Thrash, you got the Reckoning, you got the Seekers. A lot of big ults here for Paper Rex to push this to 66. Victor only one away from a showstopper though. He's kind of looking to see if, with him having the spike, to try to get him into a position to get that down, but Forsaken Already queuing up this wreck and expecting this push, and oh. Jinx got one. He does, but he gets traded back. Artis finding the kill. It's forsaken, just grabbing up that vandal, reckoning at the ready. He's gonna invest it now. Looking for oh the stuns. Som jumping to the side, that manages to avoid it. Mind Freak taking so much damage there. Down to 37. Thrash at the ready. Double TP gonna be used. Pulls it back to be able to get the quick recovery on the ult. But Artis and Finesse, they stay sat here. But it seems like Paper X are not biting on the bait. That Dizzy goes out, gets a confirm on a one, has to be destroyed. Gets picked up. Seekers now as well, very much telling the story. CGRS with the covered ult, recovered ult. Doesn't get much, they clear it out very swiftly. Forsaken, first to fall, the daze comes through, clear out on that boom bot, CGRS has to back away. Artist pushing up, finds the one, some into the corner. Still gonna be good for it now with a showstopper. They know exactly where Devai is gonna be coming from. The rocket should be able to take him down. Does he note the cross, however? He does, but Devai avoids the damage. Swapping up the weapons. Finds the Vandal. Trailblazer. Try to guide his way forward. Sees one, flash goes Victor's way. Does he have a read on Finesse? Eight bullets remaining to try to clutch this one out. The push coming in behind Victor. Yep, the silent killer gets in, gets on top, gets on top of him. And it's seven to five. NRG in the lead. Sides. As we get ready to swap sides and see the attack from Paper Rex. Yeah, I mean I'm just so impressed with the way that NRG handles the pressure from Paper Rex. You know they're always throwing weird stuff at you, but they are layer. They are ready for these kind of. So it seems like sometimes once Paper Rex gets one kill, they're immediately hunting for another. Immediately looking to try to string those into these multi-kills and a lot of times energy's holding the line. It's been neck and neck the whole way throughout. It's hard to say who's gonna take this one, but let's get the thoughts from the desk. Honestly, it could not be closer than this. We were kind of uh, talking about the comp change from uh, NRG here, Mel, but I just want to remind everyone that this was the bind comp that they ran when they had the 15-2 uh, bind win streak back in 2022, so you can see how reliable it is for them. It's a bit of a throwback, and it, it's interesting because it allows the Viper util to be moved in different locations. If they can trust an artist to lurk up short for the Viper, then we can see that Viper smoke being used more towards long B. And it's kind of crazy to say 7-5, because I saw so many heroics. I could have told you that Paper Rex will not have. Yeah, exactly. And it was time and time again what you mentioned in the heroics, the individuals having some solo plays, uh, uh, them turning around a 4v2, and actually NRG running out of time in many occasions. Those late round calls, mm -hmm. it's not even mid, it's late round calls 
protocols of like, okay, let's make this last decision. And it was actually uh, the timeout from Chet that came right off the bat of like, I believe two or three rounds in a row doing the same, being like, hey guys, honestly, just run onto them, just just, just duel them and it will be better. Yeah, so what are we expecting from the chamber now on the defense side of NLG? I think they really want to condition this early off presence that's consistent versus the Sage. The Sage is really strong as well on defense, but you don't get that consistent, really strong, like an op that can take over. But if you put an artist on this op, maybe he can get through these double controller util, maybe yeah. they can get scanned by the gecko util. He needs to be very sharp, he needs to be very smart into how he's going to use it, because as you're saying, there's a double controller on the other side with movable walls when we're talking about uh, Forsaken and the Harbor, and also a double initiator. So it's not going to be easy for him, so he has to be very smart in the timings mm. that he's using to really have impact in the game. Well, this is such a close map, but let me remind you guys of the stakes once again. This is going to be deciding who will be advancing in that lower bracket to play EG for a spot in the grand finals of Masters Tokyo. Achilleos and Paperthin, there's everything on the line here. There absolutely is. NRG, just six round wins away from locking in that NA rematch to try to make it into the grand final. And this is a team that has always made it into the top three ever since, you know, as far as Masters and Champions events are concerned, not since 2021. The first champs that we had, where they were eliminated, then under Team Envious. The score has always been present. They've always at least earned that bronze medal. You gotta use the molly to stop the W King. Oh, oh, never mind, they're just going. Okay, Cove down. Because they can leave for one, but it's gonna be he and Jing both taken down. NRG looking for another pistol round win to add to the scoreboard. CTRS finding one, but then just gets overwhelmed. Mind Freak, the late Lurk arriving. It's got that safe diffuse spot coming through. The Classic is just not gonna be able to do enough to really dissuade it, to really stop it. So they will just go ahead and hold it down. Mind Freak looking to it. At the very least, maybe collect some additional orbs, but cannot finish off. Victor takes him to 14. NRG, they start off the half with a solid pissed around win. And what, five and one in that regard across this series? Yes, and that's a big problem for Paper X. They really could have used another pistol here. I mean, yes, they've been able to recover before, but this is a moment where they needed, I think, try something a little bit more crafty. It's just a push right away. The Molly initially, you know, you just expect them to keep going, and they do. And everybody's there. It's just a firing line for the side of NRG. Now Artist with a Marshall taking space outside of B, but it's everybody out of Hookah. I mean, Clear that rendezvous. I mean, they're suspecting that they're going to be on the guard inside, as well as Elbow. The wall comes in to try to block that one off. They're taking now, getting ready to swing it in front of it. <laughs> He's got to yes. cover and make sure he does it. Yeah, Wingman going to be planted. Jing oh. goes up hyper-aggressively towards their spawn. Does manage to find one, but crashes. Up there at lap, finds one, but as he tries to throw the pop flash, Dubai catches him swinging around the corner. Be a massive response here from Paper Rex. We'll lose out on three members, but they will go ahead and turn it right on its head. Flipping the script and picking up the win. Drop the pistol, win the follow up. And they pick up the Phantom. I mean, this is a huge win. Coming out here with a bit of an unexpected, I think, stinger round uh, that definitely caught NRG a little bit off guard. They just start pushing space. I mean, you see this time and time again with this Paper X team. You saw it on Pearl, you saw it on Lotus. They W key and sometimes you're ready for it, sometimes you're not. And this time around, just not quite ready for it, it was NRG. So really nice change of pace for PRX to just swing this map right back on its head. For second with the attack, Judge. All likelihood, very much gonna see, you know, the value of that one use if they can get to a post plant position, but it's gonna be a very similar wall, just looking to cut off that guard and access. But this time, there's two players in backside. Nate's gonna be let out here from Victor, looking for some damage, jump up over the top, gonna be taken down, and yes, CTRS, he does end up getting eliminated by that one. Forsaken, taken low with the judge, helping to find the kill. 9 HP, picked up, Mind Freak, instantly finds Som. Now it's all on Artis. Five Headhunter bullets to work with. Can he get anything done? The healing coming through, Dubai. Gonna top him back up, but no, Mind Freak will just hold the hard angle. Two members lost for the round victory, found Paper Rex. One away from tying us up yet again. Somehow able to stabilize on this sight hit. It looked a bit rough off the rip. They lose a couple players, but then Forsaken just gets in there with that judge. Laying the hammer down. And out go two players 
of NRG, and then the round's able to fall back into their hands. NRG going to dig into the well and go for the timeout to see if there's any water to get them into the matches this weekend. Certainly, anything's possible. We're, I'm still no idea how to feel about who's going to take this. I mean, it's very much up in the air. These guys have been back and forth this entire time, aside from Lotus, realistically, but, you know, the way that we started going to that OT, a 15-13 scoreline for Paper X to take it, could very well be in our futures here on Bind. This is the buy round coming through yet again up at the side of NRG. So Chet burning the second timeout. Paper X have not let loose one quite just yet. Alex still has both of those to use in this second half. We'll see if they come into play, but for NRG, there's very, very close to having some key ultimates online. In particular, some the Orbital Strike, Crashies, the Seekers. They can find some orbs here. This could be the thing that really turns the tide and allows them to further separate themselves from Paper X. Well, yeah, I, I would expect normally that there'd be some contestion over the orbs here, but this is Paper X, so I have no idea. Um, <laughs> this is just the way that they're set up on the map. They are absolutely nowhere near any of the orbs. They're also close to the, you know, everybody's close to these alts and they're just kind of happy to just play in mid and try to go for, you know, maybe a pick. They're, it looks like they're just waiting to see if anybody's gonna try to come out. But right now it's just allowing all this map control to go over to NRG and they're gonna try this hit once again, the same thing. I, it's the, looks like just the attempt at the fake. It will draw the volley oh, yeah, out yeah. from Zom. The rest of the players though, hovering over towards A. Finesse and Art is not really budging from showers and that trademark is there to go ahead and confirm some presence. Now Smokes is gonna be dropped in. Teleporter can be used and there's no control for the shower side of the map for Paper X so they can't really stop him from going forward. Now Forsaken. Over on the B site, on his lonesome. Does he call for a pivot? No. The plant coming down out into the open. Interesting spot here from PRX. Oh, yeah. Monster on the loose. Thrash now at the ready. Sending it forward, but doesn't even get close and is completely unrecoverable. It's Mind Freak trying to hold forward. Forsaken gonna be spotted. Killed in the back end. Orbital oh, strike now infested. CJRS Jing both gonna be taken out. Mind Freak with one of his own, has to send the ult, the swing out for Finesse on the flank. It's gonna be Sam who finds that kill. A bite down to the by speed in a rough spot, but Finesse will win it out. And the timeout works a treat. NRG closing the round, now moving up to nine. And I appreciate the fake attempt from Paper Rex, but NRG again, stalwart in their defense, stalwart in their respect. Just getting caught. Yeah, and I, I am also a little bit confused again why Paper X isn't maybe trying to you know play a little bit more attention towards those orbs. That could, you know, end up being a big part of the round. It wasn't super huge. It got the seekers online for the side of NRG, but still potentially maybe could have swung that round differently and not really being ready for that orbital strike inside of U-Haul. Forsaken didn't have it has, until yeah. Forsaken died. Yeah. Just seemed like that round kind of lacking a little bit of awareness of the ult situation for Paper X hurt them. They're gonna be going for the same setup here. Cove spot, whether that drops, it might be a whiff. Hard to see without seeing the wide angle of it. I think they're gonna be forced into the teleporter though by the paint shells and Crashies caught with Util in hand. For a second, it looked like he was gonna be able to get out of there with his life. Jump up over the top, some gonna be noted. Near the back of sight. Still, still though, does find a vibe. Jing will eventually take him down. 4v3 as the wingman gets the plan. Finesse wrapping around into the back of Elbow. Artists around the other side from Fountain. Showstopper at the ready. Jing going to stave him off. Poombot has to call for that assisted clear. It's the wall, just wants to try to get the rocket through, but in the end, not gonna find too much, but it does buy some space, it buys some time, and Finesse bites the dust. It should be Paper X once again, bringing it to within one. Art is gonna linger around for a little bit longer, finds Mind Freak. Do they continue to push into him? Looks like the answer is gonna be yes. Okay, they're starting to drift in his direction, but he's gonna pull back. They know that he's gonna be watching the teleporter, so no one wants to challenge him there. They need to hold on to these weapons, but Paper X will fight back. Time not with a fake, but with the actual execute here on the B site. 
Yeah, this is a good use of the Reckoning uh, to really lock down that garden space and they crunch at it. We've seen this attempted in a couple different spots on this map with the Reckoning where they want to crunch on top of it and this time it finally does come through for them. Let's see if they're just going to keep using that same sort of cut the B site in half with Forsaken's utility. Right now it's looking like it. In all likelihood, it's going to be the wave coming through trying to block off the flash, perhaps? No, okay. Well, he uses it in a couple different ways. One way that we've been seeing a lot here so far is he cuts it right down the middle. The other is that he isolates a player in elbow. He tries to just kind of take it from right to this door on the right to all the way to the elbow on the left. Stun on the crashies. Trying to back off full flash now on a victor as well. Nid gets sent forward, trying to hold them back. So far it's working well. Colt might be coming through to try to make a retreat happen, but Finesse taken down. That's the back of sight. Mosh coming up with a kill. Heals being offered up by Crashies to Som to try to get him back to 100. Will be able to do so. It's three members from NRG situated here at the B site. Art is still waiting back in link to see if this rotation comes through to A. They're just gonna try to brute force their way through. Flashes in, Victor noted, taken out. Jing now up on top of the box, just trying to spot a pixel, trying to find a head. Will be able to do so, but it's gonna be Sean who finds a headshot, but it's quickly traded back, Forsaken. Getting revenge here for his bomb comrade. Now Artis, the last one left standing. Swinging out as Forsaken gets tucked away just outside the teleporter. Swings in, and he'll be good to win the fight. And we are tied up once again at nine to nine. Incredible stuff from Paper X, uh, just taking their time here to really make sure that they're watching for this lurk, being ready for it before they set up for this attack. And then it's just kind of the, the, the normal high tide. You don't see that all the time from Forsaken. He's got a lot of different high tides that he likes to utilize on this B site. This time they just go for the normal one, catch some flashes, get Jing in there, get some information. And Divai just looks like he's just it's another day at the... Another day at the PC bong in Korea, man. Like, he just looks like he's having fun. Artist situated forward. Headhunter around the corner, avoids the stun. He actually wants to jump back into this one, looks for the headshot, but CTRS actually draws his weapon back out a little bit too quickly. Swing out of the teleporter, and it's just absolutely stomped into the pavement there. Victor can do nothing more than get a little bit of damage. The flawless round as Paper X gain the lead once more. And if we've learned anything from this, it's not going to be a lead for too much <laughs> longer. <laughs> it feels like they just destined the trade blows back and forth. I, I, I feel like we're doing another overtime. This series has been too good. Absolutely would love to see it. But I mean, now you've got a couple huge ultimates. You've got the Viper's Pit, you've got that Orbital Strike. The last time they were able to combo these very effectively for NRG, particularly Sam played that round extremely well. You have the op for Artis. So a lot of big tools here for NRG to get this back up. Meanwhile, Paper Rex sitting on quite a lot of cash. So this round is oh so important for NRG. Hit invested over towards Garden, but they are more than willing to try to just get themselves behind it and keep him zoned away from the site. Orbital Strike does come through and cuts off the buy as well as Mind Freak, but Jeez. Ching is all the way into their spawn. Zom Crash, he's taken out. Finesse stranded as the plant comes down back site. And this is completely and utterly out of their control. They're leaving, they're done. Yeah, they have to call for the save. They know that their economy is completely and utterly screwed if they die. As we'll take a look back here. Just, oh yeah, all right. He's in the corner, and Jing's in the spawn. Jing just literally just went right for the spawn and just kept going. There was no halting it. And there was that high tide I was talking about to cut off elbow there to give them, or excuse me, cut down the middle to give them the space to just have to worry about whoever's in cubby or right behind the tube or maybe in tube. Oh, finesse slips away just before he would have been spotted there by Devai. Looks like that operator will crucially be held on to here by Artis, but it's Paper X that do manage to stretch the lead. Already in double digits now, 11, two more to go, and they will be sending energy home. And there went those big ultimates. The Viper's Pit used completely just sidestepped by the side of Paper X. Same with that Orbital Strike. It's 
That's a devastating round for energy. Yeah, you can grab a couple guardians. Yeah, you saved the op. They're altless. Yeah. And this needs to be a turning point for NRG. Need to bring it back. Need to try to do something. You can't break the economy pretty much from here on out unless you start a very long streak and overtake them. So much money banked up by Paper Rex. Oh, look at the, look at their stack here at B. They're, I mean, it's just been B over and over and over again for Paper X. So now you're gonna try to just out tool them. Hit him. Just trying to play safe, but the flash connects. He doesn't check back. The buy doesn't look for it. He's just so hungry for the kill. He ends up falling. Sam with a headshot now. Cuts up Jing. That's gonna be the Garden Access taken away from them. CGRS as well. Fallen. The spike now down on the ground. Mind freak and forsaken. The last two left standing. As Artis' participation, not necessary. They will find him in the smokes. And that just leaves Forsaken all on his lonesome. I'll grab it. I mean, notes the hefty presence here on B. Figures, you know what? Maybe if I can kill the one, maybe two guys that are over on the A site, I could have an opportunity. Surely he can't do it again. Surely not. And this is kind of the... Be something magical if he could, but there's a swing out. There's the off shot. Artist just holding the angle. Stay and put. Participation necessary at the end of it all, and NRG will also get themselves the double digits. That's one step. They do it cleanly as well. And it all comes down to that. Dubai really just blood hungry, bloodthirsty, trying to get that stun player to get rid of finesse. Victor just quietly sat in the corner. As soon as no, he regains his vision, it's all over. No timeout from Coach Alex here. He's no. just going to try to trust his players. Let them, you know, they've been doing mostly a good job, but now they got to pivot away from B. Artis out here with that op on an aggressive angle. Alex has turned off the targeting computer. <laughs> just let him fly blind. <laughs> if this gets tied up, I do expect to see it again, but they are wary about this one. Yeah, Trailblazer will clear him off the position, forces that. Teleport back, so rendezvous in the back of lamps. That's gonna send artists rotating potentially to try to get to heaven. Looks like, yeah, that is gonna be the case. The Boombot spots one on the back side, so I'm gonna be noted. Wingman plant does come through. All this on either side. Crashies, however, first one to fall. The op not gonna be able to see too much of anything. Jump around the corner, Som with that shorty will find one, but then for second counter swings to take him down. The fight into the corner, finding a lot of value, but CZRS still wins out of the fight. And suddenly it's just Victor and Artis left standing. No reason not to play for it. He'll have that tour de force at the end of this all, but Dubai finds Victor Forsaken, takes him down, and Paper X will take it all the way to match point. Just a beautiful hold here from Paper Rex. Able to just get into the space. It's given up by NRG. Jing comes around the corner right ahead of those seekers. Gets the kill and is able to get out. Forsaken, beautiful job being right there to trade off of his teammate. CGRS holding the line. Everybody coming up big there in that round for Paper Rex. One more. And they will be seeing EG on Saturday in those lower bracket finals. Like you said, Artis now with the Tour de Force, but we're back over to B. Surprise, surprise. Or Paper Rex. Trailblazer out of long. Now into hookup. Poison Orb comes through. Finesse clears it rather quickly as Victor gets around the back, puts some damage down, but doesn't want to overstay his welcome. It's a little bit of damage, and Wisely just decides to back off. Knows that he's going to be outgunned. So for now, a bit of a stalemate here around the B site. It looks like Crashy's maybe suspecting that this is going to result in a bit of a shift towards A, but as we can see, they're still looking to grab Hookah for themselves. A little bit more damage out as Forsaken takes a bullet through the side of the box, down to 19 HP now. And that is what looks like it will force the pivot. Yeah, this is good. You don't have that high tide yet back up for Forsaken, so wait a little bit for oh, that no. to come into play. Yep, they just cut noise. They pull back. Oh, Vanessa gets himself into a cheeky position, though, just outside of the window. It's Victor. Okay. Spotting one. The rotations can now begin, it would seem, from the side of NRG. Finesse, Victor, gonna be blinded up. Finesse, however, still managing to find three as they drop in! It flies into the spider web. Finesse strikes. He keeps their hopes alive here in the round. The teleporter gonna be taken. Jing, ooh, just swings back through. 
A 2v3. It's Paper X try to stay in this. And now trying to finish this. Jinx got the showstopper now. 10 seconds left. That he does, but 41 HP. It's such a small window. No margin for error. Is the trademark going to be cleared out? Oh, my freak out into the open. Finds one. Looks for Artis. Puts him down to 27, but now it is all on Jing to be the finisher. Spots him. Cannot get the kill. Artis will put him down and keep energy in this game. One more round to go for overtime. Unbelievably smart play here from Finesse, as always. The big brain hiding himself in the corner and finds three for it. I thought he had gotten blinded, but no. Avoids it. And just drops out to kill off three. Absolutely gorgeous from Finesse where the team needed him the most. Artis as well. And that low HP, granted, yes, Jing is tagged up as well, but doesn't allow for him to isolate that 1v1 with that showstopper, because that could have just been it. Yes, exactly. Now Victor one away from his showstopper. A couple big ones here. Mind Freak has his orbital strike behind this. Paper Rex, Spin Beacon down. Victor grabbing the orb in showers. So far, just kind of taking their time, and they're going to use this. Oh, Dueling Rockets coming through. Not finding anything, though, is Jing, but as he gets up on top of the box, still will find Victor, but it's going to be a massive trade-up. Energy starting things off with two, but now equalized. The buy catches some. The plant still not coming in. Artis instantly headshot. Mind Freak finding it. Just two more left to go. He's playing it in deep flash, and now it's on Finesse. The IGO, the captain to try to take us in OT, but the voice says no! You shall not pass this point! Paper X do the impossible! They eliminate NRG, a team that has not been outside of the top three at a Masters or Champions event since 2021. They stopped them dead in their tracks with 10 days of preparation and substitute player. They are going the distance. And they are going to be challenging EG in the lower bracket final in two days' time. I mean, this smoking hot run for Paper Rex, nobody would have ever expected it. Nobody would have ever thought it was coming. And hats off to NRG. They played a hell of a series. They gave them everything they could handle. They had their Lotus completely downloaded, completely prepared for. But on these other two maps on Pearl, a map that at one point, I thought it was a done deal. I thought energy looked like they were going to roll away with it. But Paper Rex able to dig deep. It's, it's everybody on this team right now performing. Forsaken and Jing, you know they're known quantities in their abilities. Devi has had some huge clutches. Mind Freak, some big ones today. And of course, CGRS. What else can you say? Who, who would have expected that right now he is one of the big integral parts of this team getting to where they are? Absolutely nobody. It felt like it was a done deal before the tournament had begun. But this team has continued to fight back, to persevere, and outdo everyone's expectations. He might not be here, but you have to expect that they are doing it for something. It's all for him. And my God, they find themselves now in that lower bracket final. Given what they've seen, we've seen from these guys, how they've been able to shatter our expectations, who's to say that it can't be done again? Yes, EG, they look damn scary. But you never know what you're gonna get when W Gaming shows up. But the, 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 the expectations for this team, who knows? I mean, I, I, at this point, I think anything's possible. The way they play, it's so hard to understand them because they're they're very dynamic and yeah they'll they'll make changes they'll they'll try different things but then they'll go back to what works what they've kind of prepared and practice for because they're so accurate they're so clean with their individual mechanics and they just sometimes can repeat things and you can't do anything about it they're just that good and after that set i might start believing in magic i think it's real it's a real thing <laughs> But, good lord, what a run it has been. Not just for Paper X, but for NRG as well. There has been a shakier season for them coming into this one, but they still managed to fight back time and time again. They did not go down quietly. They fought to the bitter end, couldn't quite get us there, to that OT at the end of it all. 
But Paper X now, another lease on life. We will see them in the lower bracket final versus EG on Saturday. That does it for myself and Paper Thin. We're gonna go to a break, or we're gonna go to Tiger, sorry, on stage with Mind Freak for an interview. We'll throw it down to them. It was such a close battle against NRG. Any thoughts on today's match? Uh, I think they play really well at, on Lotus, and I feel like if they didn't make some mistakes on Pearl, I think they should have won that. So, yeah, I'm, I'm just feeling really very grateful that we won, I guess. えっと、第2マップのロータスでは、やられてしまったんですけれども、パールは我々ミスがなければ勝っていたなと思える内容だったので、ま、3つ目のマップ取って勝つことができて嬉しいです。ありがとうございます。そしてマインドフリックス選手
What are they? The way that they're playing this game is just so uh, right, and they were outplaying uh, a legacy team like NRG. Especially that second half. The first half had incredible heroics, things I've yeah. never seen so consistently from any team that they're able to pull up. But in that second half, I really do feel like they're mid-rounding. Compared to Copenhagen, how you said, it has come such a long way. And it has to be like, you do have to shout out their system. Like, we can't continue to think, okay, there's only one viable system. They have shown us again and again and again against the best IGLs that this five man, I, this group, mind group think is working and at the highest level. Yeah, and I want to give some props to Forsaken because I had some chats with him about their bind because uh, it didn't look the best against Fnatic, but he says that he actually comes up with a lot of the ideas on bind, the strats, the protocols. It, it is all down to him and uh, not a player, Kukuka, you would expect to come up with things Honestly, like this. Honestly, I wanted to highlight him because I yeah. feel like we talk a lot about Jing and, you know, it's I, I understand what we do it because he. He's a brilliant race, probably one of the best in the tournament, if not the best. But I feel like Forsaken, again, with the flexibility, with the ability to bring in so many different things onto the game, his performance today on Harbor on that bind, let me tell you, that gave him the match. Because, you know, we were, so in, we were seeing an NRG that decided to go back to that composition with the Chamber and with the Brimstone just moving away just because of what happened against Fnatic and probably looking for a different edge on this map. Forsaken did not care about anything of, of that. Yeah, and you can really tell Mel that he comes up with the ideas because a lot of it does come uh, the n initiation and the way that they execute as well. He's in the center of every single one of them. Oh, he's starting them, which is crazy to say as like a controller, is like he's the one initiating it, but he makes Harbor look like a duelist sometimes. <laughs> and it has to be his job. I think everybody in, in Paper X makes their agent feel like it <laughs> at some point. Yeah, yeah but uh, I think that it also brings another point on, uh, to the uh, to the table, and it's the fact that what I like the most about this kind of events when we go to an international stage is the fact that we prove that there's not only one way that you can play the game and succeed while doing this. There's many ways that you can excel at Valorant, and Paper X just has their own. I mean, all three teams that are left, I feel like, have three yeah. pretty unique styles, but unfortunately, this is the end of NRG's journey here in Tokyo Masters. Uh, they are so concerned System. They always qualify for these big events. And I just feel like the, the quality of Valorant Mel, it just keeps increasing and increasing that a team like NRG is getting knocked out before uh, the top three. It does speak volumes to how much we have evolved and how far we've come. And especially, I'm excited to see energy at Champs. I know they were knocked out today, but we got to see so many glimpses. Yeah. And I do hope they can reach that final form that we've been like hinting at and like mentioning throughout the tournament. And I think if we look, if we take a look at their year overall, I would end up with a positive, no positive note. I know that the year is still not over and I'm looking forward to Champs because I know that improvement is going to be there. I know that they have lived in the tournament with a lot of notes on what they can do to improve, where the weaknesses are and where they feel that other teams are most uh, uh, strong in that they can actually combat against them. I mean, this is NRG. Uh, every single tournament, I feel like even if they're not at their best, they can still do stuff like this. And uh, I think a lot of people were saying, right, they in this lower bracket, they don't even need to be at their best to be winning these games. Uh, but like you said, Mel, I can't wait to see them at Champions. But it's time to get a look, uh, take a look even, at our HyperX Reflex moment of the day. And this is uh, Demon 1. Kakuka, you and I, yeah. we kind of <laughs> lost our minds. Yeah, when we saw exactly. This. I broke the sound barrier once again. Again, because I could not believe uh, how clean Demon was on this flick. Especially, can we, do we have him on, on slow-mo? Because I, I kind of want to see it again. I don't think I'll be able to keep up even if it was slow-mo. He had 11 HP throughout this entire match. Oh, we match have it in slow-mo, look. Nah. Oh, nah, even in slow-mo. No. Oh. Even in slow-mo, he's way faster than I could <laughs> Dude, no wonder he, was he, no wonder he's called Demon One because that guy's not human. Insane. Like, who does stuff like that? <laughs> who does stuff like that? It's just ridiculous. And uh, of course, he's going to be back as well, competing soon. But before we take a look at the standings, let's see where we are at with the shorty counts. I think we got a few of them today as well. So this is going to be telling you guys how many shorty <gasps> kills we have in total. 53. 53. 53. We're getting there. Nice. We're getting there. We're getting there. Yeah, I yeah, love yeah. that. I love that. Thank you very much to you know every player that has taken a little bit of a risk or invested that 150 credits extra on the shorty. Are you a shorty shorty enjoyer, Mel? I mean, while it's on clearance, for sure. Until the next badge where it's on 300. Ah! I, yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> for sure. We live in we live on this patch. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I reckon we're going to see a lot of those moments as well as we go on. So uh, let's take a look at the bracket and see uh, what is going to be happening because we do just have three more teams left, you guys, in this tournament. That lower bracket is going to come to an ed ver end very soon. The winner of that game, Kukuka, will be facing Fnatic in the grand final. I mean, I think both of them will be a rematch because the last two matches, as you can see on the on the top bracket, have that Fnatic has played against Paper X and EG. Me personally, I would love to see EG again. Um, I think that is something that many people are going to be sharing because today's match was unreal. I enjoyed it from beginning to end. But um, you know, I think that we end up in a in a very good note here. What about you, Mel? Who do you want to see in the finals? I want to see the EG rematch as well, but EG has to beat Purex first. Yep. And I feel like I really want to see how EG fares against that playstyle. Is it going to be a rerun of, you know, NA, like NRG, or are we going to see something different? I really am excited to find out. What I'm curious about is, let's say EG are the ones that do end up making it back into that grand final. Uh, Fnatic have two bans, which means they'll ban Pearl. Yep. And uh, Mel, how do you think that EG will fare if Fnatic were to take away the Fracture? Because no one has so far. I, that would be, that's going to be a huge advantage for Fnatic, is all I'm going to say. Their fractures look phenomenal all event. And when you see a team that dominant, it's such a relief off your shoulders when you're able to just like, all right, bye. Now you got to yeah. prove your worth on the rest of the map pool, which could go either way. But for Paper Rex, uh, Kukuka, what do you yeah. Fnatic take away for them? What do you think? Uh, maybe the split? Yeah? I think so, yeah, maybe, probably. Uh, I don't know, I think it depends on, on Fnatic on how they're feeling that, that day. day. Uh, honestly, yeah, we know that the Pearl is definitely not going to be there, which makes me a little bit sad. You know that I was cheering for EG a little bit in the end just because I wanted them to have the, the, the two fans and see Fnatic, whatever they have on Pearl. Uh, but what I, what I do not want is a 3-0 final. I need, I, I need it to go yeah. the distance. I think we, it would I think we deserve distance. it after the tournament that we've I had. I think it would. And especially since if you guys uh, remember that the winner of this tournament will gain an extra slot for their region. Yes. And all three regions, regions. are still yes. in the <laughs> running. Uh, I know, Mel, you probably want Americas, right? You want them to have oh. an extra slot? For sure. Yeah? Absolutely. Yeah, what about you? I, you said the NRG were going to be... Uh, I mean, I want it for EMEA. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, then I'll say Pacifics to make it fair, yeah. you know? Wow. We can have a balanced so nice desk here. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I was going to say NA, but, you know, yeah. I feel like some teams <laughs> in our region did not I think we secretly all yeah. want Americas, <laughs> but uh, thank you very much, Kukuba, for joining me. Thank you, Mel. It's been an absolute pleasure. Come back soon, because uh, oh, you arrived you. and we got two giga bangers. So I yeah. think it was definitely the influence of you, Mel. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you to you guys uh, at home for watching. We're going to be taking a couple of days break, but don't worry, when we come back, we're going to be bringing you Paper X versus EG and then of course that grand finals as well but before you go and take a rest make sure to enjoy our prime gaming post day highlights and we'll catch you in a few days what are they, what are, what are, what are they doing what are they doing but they're casting a spell we're <laughs> <laughs> they, they copy them, bro. yes that's a real both teams have been immaculate in the land of the rising sun, but today blood will be drawn. It's time for EG versus Fnatic, a match no one would have seen coming into the upper finals of a Masters event. Ethan, though, can't do anything about it. Alpha slides in. Oh, Jorgo can't do enough. And Fnatic very prepared. Durka's position actually could be very valuable. Four slightly deeper. EG take back towards the side. 30 seconds now. Durka delivers towards Demon 1. Showstopper set, and he's still going to do it all himself. Welcome to playing against the big boys. Durka is just built a little different. Fnatic are making themselves look like, of course, as always, the team to beat. Durka, they're so blind. And they're still winning the fight, apparently. It's just Bustio left, Sheriff in hand, but for a Fnatic to find, Durka seals the deal on a 13-3 to open this series, Lauren. Yeah, this one is uh, looking very good for Fnatic. Com already going to get towards that defuse, going to keep Alpha busy as best he can. That's Demon One's job. Oh, the spray down is already going to get it to half. Oh, Demon One's there, but do they have time? Oh, no time. This defuse, it's going to be so good. What? They've got it! They've got it! <laughs> I mean, that's actually crazy. Holy f my 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 fucking fat heart, bro. Jorgamar's got stunning movement. He flies in, but boom's done. Out of nowhere, finding three. He's got the second lead to life. Jorgamar and Busio in unison, though, taking this one firmly in their hands. EG taking us to map three. Now we got a game on our hands. The ult as well. He's throwing everything in and the kitchen sink, trying to toy with all the stuff. To attention from Ethan, and the follow-up from 
Aretha with a judge. <laughs> it's all on Bustio. A 1v3. The target oh, denied on the first attempt. They might not be able to get to this. Oh, he's done just enough. Bustio. Heroics from further away. Maybe looking for an anti flash position, but he's just in the middle of no man's land. Bustio gonna punish him. One pop flash comes in. Not gonna be falling for that one. Fnatic just kicking down the door here. Not gonna happen. That's them on double digits. Ethan gonna spot the cross. He's, it's Leo Strat Oh my god! Oh! Leo! Leo has taken Fnatic across the line! And like all dreams, it couldn't last forever for EG. But Fnatic facing down their demons here, making their way to the final. Fnatic were forced to work, and no one has done that to Fnatic for a long time. This could be the elimination match of the ages. NRG, the legacy team that just refuses to roll over and die versus a Paper X that came here with a sub. But today, one of them is going to progress and become a top three team, and one of them is going to be going home. Who you got your money on? Vanessa, shoulder to shoulder, but Pazikin doesn't peek the corner. Vanessa mows down a third. And suddenly, it's on Crashies to try to avoid going into overtime. The Flash Connecting Divide with a 4K! 12 to 12, we continue onward. Suddenly, just Finesse and Sam left standing. He's trying to spray him, but he just falls down. The second will be the last one, and it is a flawless round for Paper X to take it. 15 to 13, Pearl is theirs. One for his troubles, puts a little bit of extra damage down to Crashies as well, pulls back lower sight, and oh boy, it's just gonna be Odin things, huh? Trying to hold the line, the swing, and it's a four. Is he really gonna get an ace with the Odin here in round number three? Forsaken. Dizzy as well goes through. A nice flash, gets that full blind. They look to swing around the side of Mount. By using that trailblazer, but they know that he is close. Finesse for the 4K in the meantime. Over here in tree, Artis spamming through, finds the kill, looks to try to go for the hold, but Artis comes up with a second. 13 to 6. They come in to PRX's Lotus and they absolutely decimate them. Takes advantage of the vulnerable out on a Jane Prisinkin, however, finds two quick kills, finds himself a third, finds the fourth kill. His artist left standing and forsaken! Is Jink showstopper at the ready? Looking to catch one. Sends out the showstopper, Crash, he's gonna be dead! Paints up finesse! Oh, oh, the oh. is in the hands of Jing! They're getting a read on this. They're, they're just sending showstopper to try to chase them down. Forsaken will manage to find artists. The spot is a double kill! Wants to jump back into this one, looks for the headshots. The flawless round as Paper X gain the lead once more. Paper X do the impossible! They eliminate NRG, a team that has not been outside of the top three at a Masters or Champions event since 2021. They stopped them dead in their tracks, and they are going to be challenging EG in the lower bracket final in two days' time.